Hello everybody, this is the Big Axe of Diamonds, and welcome back to Decade Survival. Since we left off, the game crashed and nothing really was lost, so we are okay. And in this episode, we will probably be searching the moon for more meteor chunks, just so we can make the Tier 2 rocket and eventually go to Mars. So, we have meteor chunks. Alright, I put them in here. Raw meteor iron. And I think we can just start some stuff smelting, just for experience purposes in the redstone furnace, and we can get, actually get some more of that pulverized copper, and put it in here in the other redstone furnace, and we should get a decent amount of experience from that while we're gone. And here we go, let's go back to the moon. Looks like my oxygen tanks are fine. And let's go to the moon. We are on the moon, so I don't understand why I said let's go to the moon. But anyway, let's get the jetpack going. It's fully charged, and let's look for some more meteor chunks. I wonder if the power fist can mine meteors. Never actually tried. Hmm, well, let's go looking for some meteors. Hmm. I wonder if at some point I should just uh, put both of my jetpacks in there. I mean, I totally messed that up. I meant, where both of my air tanks. So, actually, I think that might be kind of efficient, so let's put both of them on. It'll last us twice as long. And let's go back to wherever we are going. Uh, we could check out the dungeon, although I think I'll, I'll wait until I'm a bit more geared out for that. And let's go and search the moon for some meteor chunks. I keep calling them meteor chunks, even though it's just called raw meteoric iron. You can craft them into throwable meteor chunks, though. Not sure why you would want to do that, since they're kind of, well, a little bit rare. Is this just another dungeon? Is this, like, another moon dungeon? Uh, wait, where are my waypoints? My waypoints are gone. What happened to them? Uh, waypoints. Huh. Guess I have to remake them. Uh, moon dungeon? Okay. Don't know what happened to them. But I guess they're gone for some weird reason. Well, let's keep searching the moon, and, oh, right, probably going to want to waypoint that now. So let's start sprinting, then use jetpack, because that's way more efficient. And here we are. Let's waypoint this. M, waypoints, add, a linking book. Don't know why that happened, but we are okay. And let's go searching for more meteor chunks. I wonder if you have to stand in a certain place for a long time, or if it's better if you just wander around the moon looking for them. Uh, well, since this jetpack is pretty slow, it's kind of a mix of each. Hmm. Well, I suppose we can try and go, and go out in this direction. Try to find some. That was weird. It was just like a couple blocks that weren't loaded. Instead of a whole chunk. Mmm. Hey, look, there's one. I think that actually naturally generated. And what is that? Huh, is that actually like a, a dimensional dungeon on the moon? Didn't know that could happen. Yup, it's a dimensional dungeon on the moon. Huh. That's interesting. Mmm, well, let's collect this. I'm not actually sure if I want to go into the dimensional dungeon because it could be dangerous, it could send me to limbo. I'm not sure if I'm prepared. But then again. Well, I'll waypoint it and we'll see. We will see if we want to go there. I wonder if these can actually spawn in the nether because if they can spawn on the moon then they could probably spawn in the nether. So, let's see. Let's waypoint this. Uh, add. Uh, that's going to be kind of confusing, so let's call it Dimensional Dungeon. I said confusing because it was almost the same color as the other dungeon. Dimensional Dungeon. There we go. I'm surprised they actually had one of those on the moon. But okay, it works. Now let's look for some more meteor chunks. Do we actually mine that one out? Yep. And we have eight at home, so that makes nine. We're going to need 28 in total, so it's going to be... A lot of searching. Definitely a lot of searching. Uh, you know what? Is that just another one? Right over there? I didn't know these were so common. 
Seriously. It's just... It's just another one. Right here. Another moon dimensional dungeon. Just right there. Well, guess we're waypointing this too. Uh, waypoints add. Dimensional dungeon 2. There we go. These are actually really common on the moon, apparently. <laughs> Strangely enough. Mm, well, let's see if we can find any more meteors. I finally used meteors instead of just meteor chunks. Uh, well, let's go around. Doesn't seem to be many over here. How's the jetpack doing? Still pretty good, not too bad. And come on. There's just like a bunch of holes in the moon, like one block holes. There's the moon village again. Do you want to waypoint that? Eh, I don't think it's that important. There's not really any functionality to them. Mm, except for maybe the saplings. Don't know why they would have saplings on the moon. It's not like they're going to grow here. Is it? Hmm, I don't know. Well, let's keep searching the moon for the chunks. Hmm. What if we should collect the wool? We might need wool at some point. I think we have the shears on these. So we can get the wool. Hmm. Watch me break this and have all the torches break. Yeah, like that. And how long is that going to take to fall down? Man, that's a long time. Oh, we got the black wool. Might need to uh, use wool in a crafting recipe at some point, so we might as well collect this. Any other wool? There's right here. And some right here, too. There we go. Just four galactic craft torches. Floating around. Let's collect them. Actually, now that we use the Lux Capacitor more often, not sure if we need to collect them. And anything else? Any more wool? Here we go. There we go, and let's collect it. It's hard to see it against the black background of the sky. Uh, well, let's keep looking. Keep looking around for some more meteor chunks. Oh! Looks like a meteor just crashed right there, conveniently. Let's mine it out. Right here. Come on, mine out already. These take so long to mine, it's like mining obsidian. Uh, here we go. Of course, it's going to take a long time to pick it up, too. It's just going to float. Oh, never mind. Looks like that one worked fine. And let's go around here. Is that... Seems like there would be a meteor in that hole there, that crater, but apparently it's just just a random crater without anything inside of it for some reason. Let's go around here. Looks like our jetpacks are still doing pretty good. Mmm, any meteors? Any meteors that want to be mined? Because I got this really good pickaxe for you. It'll give you a good back rub. Alright, looks like no meteors are there. Mmm... We could go back to the linking book and go in the other direction. Hey, looks like we found another meteor. Let's mine it out. And come on, mine. It's going to take a while. Of course, it's going to take a while because it's a meteor and it's definitely made of some sort of dense iron. So it's going to take a while to mine. And here we go. I wonder if it's longer than obsidian. We could actually test that. I also wonder if the heavy duty pickaxe can mine obsidian. We could check it out. Maybe it can. Uh, don't see many others. Uh, any caves that we could explore? Don't think there would be meteors in caves though. That wouldn't make any sense. Let's head in this direction. I'm kind of trying to circle the linking book. Just because... Mm, just because I want to stay close to it, but still explore a large area. Eh, don't not really seeing many around here. Do think this would be a lot less easy. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a lot less easy or a lot harder without the jetpack. And let's go around here. Hey, moon villagers, wonder if they have like trades. It would be cool if they had like trades for meteors, but I don't think that would work. Hey, these actually grow? Huh, I guess the trees actually grow on the moon. 
Didn't expect that. But I suppose with water, that could work. Uh, any meteors? You know, I'm seeing some that are just generated with new chunks. But I'm seeing some others that just crash. So I'm not really sure what's the best way to collect meteors. We've only got three for now. But we have eight back at home, so that's eleven. Let's go around and look for some more. Uh, not seeing many. Mm, anything around here? No, it's just an empty, barren, desolate moon. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should just cut until I find a meteor. That might make things more interesting. Well, this is interesting. I haven't found any more meteor chunks, but I did manage to stumble upon one right here, two, three, and four more moon dimensional dungeons. So this is, this is crazy. It's like these are everywhere. And this looks to be even like halfway through the ground. Well, let's waypoint moon dimensional dungeon. I also found another moon dungeon with a skeleton boss in it. So let's add dimensional dungeon three. This is really crazy. There's so many. It's just like one over there. They're everywhere. I could go explore one of them. Though I'm not sure if I want to risk my stuff and risk going into limbo. You know, I could just like try going in there with nothing on me at all and see how that goes. That might work. I don't think there's any mobs in there, so. Wouldn't really hurt to go in there without anything on me at all, except for maybe a pickaxe. And not really seem to seeing seeming to see. Not really finding any more meteors. Not really many. Well, guess guess we're just back to cutting and looking for some more meteors. So we finally found some more meteors. And there's two of them, one right here, one over there, and in that time. We probably found ten more moon dimensional dungeons, so it's really ridiculous and insane. I don't even have to waypoint these, I can just like go out a few blocks and oh look, there's one. It's they're though they're that common. It's ridiculous. And it looks like there's about to be some moon mobs. Because it's about to be nighttime on the moon. Gonna have to wait another hour and twenty minutes. Just because that's how long a day is on the moon. Come on. I mean, by the day, I mean, like, the actual period that the sun is up. The night is also an hour and 20 minutes. So I don't really get how that makes sense, but okay. I guess they just wanted to make it harder on the moon. I just realized this is a dimensional dungeon, not a dimensional dungeon. It's dimensional dungeon. Huh. Well, I guess it's time to refuel the air tanks. I mean, they're about halfway, but the jetpack isn't really doing that well either. So, let's go back over here. It's about to be moon mob time. It's about to be moon mob city around here. So, I guess it's time to go back to the box dimension. Mm. Let's go down. Okay, here we are. It's been a while since we were here, actually. Probably not for you, but for me. Just because I cut so much of it out. And let's collect some copper ingots that were in here. Mm, up to seven levels, not that bad. And this brought us up to nine. So we could just pulverize these again. And let's put the, not the meter chunks in the trash can, because that would be really bad. But let's put these in the ME system. Let's take this off. And I guess we can put the moon turf back. And we can put this in the energetic infuser. Gonna have to get used to it being down there. And anything I should put on? Eh, guess I can put this on for more casual use. When we're not actually fighting any mobs. By the way, I should check on the ender lilies. It's been a while since we actually grew them. So let's use the watering can. Come on. It's gonna take a while. Ah, eh, there we go. 43%. This is up to 57%. Still hasn't actually started forming the ender pearl though. And this one, 43%. Not doing that good. <coughs> well, well, I'll give them their time. 
We don't want to collect any carrots. I think we have a decent amount of carrots for now. So, mm, let's actually smelt some more dust for the experience. I just, I just searched smelt. That was ridiculous. Okay, pulverized. Mm, we have a lot of pulverized tin, so we could smelt that. Don't know how much experience that gives. Uh, we've got a decent amount of armor in our inventory. We've got a lot of sapphire tools that we don't use. So maybe we could try to make something for the power fist. How's this doing? Pretty good. Uh, let's see what we could make for the power fist. Uh, we have the pickaxe, which we don't really use. The shovel, the axe, the shears, or scanner, which doesn't work. Flint and steel. Omni wrench could be useful. Multimeter. Actually, something that could be useful would be the multimeter. Multimeter. Don't even know how it's pronounced. And it just gives you information about how much energy is flowing to your thermal expansion network. Let's see how much how much stuff it requires. Multimeter. Uh oh, it's actually really easy, except for the electrum gear, which could be a little bit expensive. Eh, don't really think I need it. And special in place assembler, larger crafting grid on the go. Eh, not really sure. Aqua Affinity Diamond Drill, Field Tinker, Torch Blazer. Since we've already got the Lux Pastor, and eh, that's not really that useful. Lightning Summer, that would be pretty awesome. Although it's really expensive and probably not worth it. Late Launcher, launches a spinning blade of death or shearing. And the energy... Uh, can't actually go down this. Right, can we scroll down? Oh yeah, here we go. Basic battery, advanced battery... Uh, might want to get an advanced battery at some point. Blink drive. Get from point A to point C via point B. I have the linking book, so it's probably not going to be better to use the blink drive. I hmm. guess we can make the shovel. Uh, let's check on the smelting. How's that doing? Didn't I smelt some stuff? Or is it just going in here? Pulverizer? Oh, duh, I put in the pulverizer. Instead of the redstone furnace. Uh. Hmm. Well, let's try to make the solenoid, I think. I think the shovel required a solenoid. Might have required more than one, though. Let's check. Shovel. Yep, three iron ingots and a solenoid. Not really that expensive. Mm. Let's try to make the solenoid. So we have the three iron ingots. Huh. Okay, there we go. And three iron ingots. Iron. Let's see what the wiring. What are what is our wiring count? Wire. Oh, just one. Uh, not that good. Well, let's see how this is doing. We're getting some more tin, and it's going to be good for our experience. Uh, let's actually take some more tin and put that in the other one. Then we can get some more experience for pretty much free. Uh, should we compress anything? Mm, might as well just smelt this. Although, it would be easier to keep count if we actually kept them in our inventory while we were on the moon. Uh, 30 tin ingots. This is doing pretty well. We got 10 levels. And this, we got 8. We're just gaining lots of levels here and there. And I guess we can install the shovel now. Eventually, I'm going to want to have more pickaxes in my inventory at all times. I mean, in my hotbar. And let's install the shovel. Wait, we don't have it? Huh, that was weird. Well, we we have the shovel now, and the axe, I think, tree capitator is going to be better for that. Two large swaths of land at once. Eh, probably not worth a solenoid. Flint and steel. Hmm, not really necessary. Altimeter, special, field thinker module. I think we're pretty much good on power fist. Oh, the railgun. Railgun, I am going to want to make that. Simply, which accelerates a projectile to supersonic speed using magnetic force. Heavy recoil. And it's basically just like a gun. You can shoot at anything and it does a lot of damage and it's instant. Unlike a bow, which takes some time. 
so it's better for timing your shots, and it's also more accurate than a bow, so I think that would probably be something to work up to, except it requires six solenoids, so that's really expensive. Plus there's the HV capacitor. Uh, don't want to think about how expensive that is. Let's see how this is doing. We got more tin ingots. Tin ingots. Mm. What should what should we do? Huh. Let's get the Galactic Craft rocket up and see what we need to make for that. We have two of the tier one rockets and tier two rocket. Mm. We could start working on this. We could get the nose cone. Uh, just three heavy duty plates and a torch. Yay, another game crash. Yay, hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We didn't really lose anything except for the internet connection for a moment, but we are back in here, and all the tin is done smelting in the redstone furnace, so we can just get some more experience from that. Here we go, up to level 12 already. And in here, this can be a lot. Up to level 14. There we go, we have a lot of tin ingots. And let's see what else we have that's pulverized. Pulverized, we have a lot of pulverized lead, so we can put that in the redstone furnace. And we could actually start doing some Galactograph stuff for now. Project Bench, we have 13 raw meteoric iron. Uh, let's actually try to make the first thing in the rocket, which is the nose cone. It requires three heavy duty plates, so that's going to be four of each ingot, probably. Uh, four of each, yeah, four of each. Uh, so let's try to make some more of the... What's it called? Tinker's Alloy. Tinker's, we don't have any of those. So, we need three copper and one tin. We could just make a lot of these, like, get all of the tin and all of the copper and turn into Tinker's Alloy ingots. Mm, we should actually, like, just check how many heavy-duty plates are in it, like regular old ones. So let's get the rocket recipe up. Rocket. Uh, tier 2 is right uh, right, uh, which one do we want to use? Tier 2 rocket. Okay, we have the tier 1 booster, tier 1 booster, how much do these require? Uh, two heavy duty plates. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Hmm, sorry, I'm going kind of slowly on this. Yeah, I'm just going to count heavy duty plates. We've got three over here, and... 10 in here, so that's 13 in total, and this is 15, and 17, already amounting to more than the original rocket, and these are 16 each, so that's 31, 33, yeah, 17 plus 16 is 33, and this is 37 heavy duty plates, that's going to be a lot, definitely a lot. And let's actually calculate how many of the Tinker's Alloy ingots that would be. 37 times 2 is 74. And... Hmm, I think that's all we'll need, 74. Yeah, I think that's going to work. Okay. Tinker's Alloy. 74. Now, how much of these would that require? Hold on, I think I'm actually just going to cut the calculation until we know exactly how much to do. So, I've calculated that in the induction smelter we need however many this is. 57 plus 19, and 57 plus 19 is uh, 60, no, 76. And that's going to be just a bit more than enough. So, we can put these in here, and it's going to make all the Tinker's alloy ingots. Might as well get this out of the way. And I guess now we're on to the iron. How much is that going to be? Oh, by the way, we have the lead. 16 levels. And in here there was nothing. Uh, let's see if we have any dust or... Not dust, but pulverized... Anything to pulverize? Just pulverized tin. Uh, I mean, anything to smelt. And this is already doing pretty well. Actually, I might want to take this out of here. Doesn't give any experience though, so that's a bummer. Gonna have to keep that in mind. And I guess we can put this all in the project bench. Gonna take a more systematical approach to this one. And let's see how much iron we need. Well, if we needed 76 of the iron, 
Mm, yeah, I think we're gonna need 76 iron ingots. That's gonna be a lot. Iron. We have 26 iron ingots. That's not that many. Hmm. Let's put those in the project bench just to keep track of how many we have in total. And the aluminum. Aluminum. We have 57. So we're not doing that battle on aluminum. Might want to get some more sand. Uh, and we got 32 Tinker's Alloy ingots right there. That's all we need. That's it for the whole rocket. That's it. Okay. Aluminum. By the way, we should get some more sand. Because we only have 8 sand, and that's not really that many. By the way, I found out just recently that you can... Watch this. Sand, it shows you the recipe. Compressed sand. But, you can also pulverize cobblestone to get sand, and also gives a 10% chance of gravel, so... We just found our new source of sand. Although, now it's going to feed in directly into here. Hold on, we'll just turn that off for the moment. Configuration. Nothing. And sand. We can just get some cobblestone. And I think we can just use a stack, just so we get more sand. And, yeah, lots of sand. Free sand for everybody. Ah, uh, how much sand do we need, though? I even forgot why I need sand. Hmm, <laughs> alright, it was sand for smelting the aluminum. Or pulverizing it, or... It's not even pulverizing. I get so many things mixed up lately. Oh, well, we've got some sand in here, not giving any experience. Then again, why would sand give experience? Mm, well, I guess I might as well just cut this whole process. Okay, we've got a lot of aluminum ingots here, and we got some rich slag, so I'm going to just use those for the last three aluminum ore, and we'll be good to go. Gonna get three aluminum from each, and also the regular old slag. So, there we go. I decided to show this to you just so people wouldn't say something like, hey, how do you get the extra aluminum ingots? But it was just slag, so, there we go. We have some leftover sand. Eh, I guess I'll just put my cobblestone here. And we are good to go for the aluminum. Let's combine that with the aluminum that's already in here. Alu... Huh. I guess it's in here. Yep, there we go. 64, and we're only going to need 12. The actual heavy-duty plate's part of the rocket. Thought I might as well get a head start on the next rocket, you know. And we've only got 26 iron ingots, so we're going to have to go and search for some more. Let's just put these back in the ME system. Uh, but for now, I think I will cut the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed, and if you have, then you should leave a like. But before we do that, we should probably set the redstone furnace up again. And the pulverizer. Let's get some stuff going around here. we got copper, tan, lead. I wonder what gives the most experience. You know what, I think gold. Gold would be good for experience, so let's pulverize that, and it'll feed directly into the top. And let's get some more... Hmm, let's see what ingots we have. Uh, I think silver would also be good. So let's pulverize those. And yeah, how's this doing? Doing pretty good. Well, yeah, I think I'll cut the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and if you have, then you should leave a like. Other than that, thanks for watching, and... I will see you next time.